Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your 21st tutorial on jQuery. And in this tutorial we are going to start writing uh, some jQuery code for our t portfolio. Alright, and bef but first I want to get rid of this empty space so that we have four pictures in, uh, in a row, no, in a line. So, um, you know, every unordered list has default padding left of 20 pixels and we want to overwrite it to uh, 0 pixels and now it looks better. Yes, and the next thing I want to create, I want to create a, a frame. I, I hope you already know what Lightbox is. So Lightbox is a simple plugin written in jQuery or JavaScript which allows you to uh, view pictures in a very good way. You just click on the thumbnail and the pictures appear slowly on the screen and the rest of the page gets dark. And this is something what we are going to create. And how the rest of the pictures gets dark? We, uh, well, the most picture viewers just have uh, an overlay which covers the whole page and makes it like look dark. So let's create an overlay first. Uh, just a div element and I'll just create a div element and name it overlay then style the overlay so what the overlay is going to be um, it's going to be uh, with an, a div element with with 100% uh, width and 100% height so it's gonna uh, cover the whole page and it also ha have to has to have a fixed position and background color of black but we'll also uh, set some opacity so it will be uh, semi-transparent and opacity let's just set it to uh, 0 0.7 of opacity and now we can already take a look at the overlay you see there uh, the whole page gets dark and this effect is caused by this overlay but we don't need these, this overlay every time of course and we will hide it as default so the overlay would, will only appear when we need it and uh, the the next step we want to create a frame a frame which will appear above the overlay just in the center of the page to display a picture so let's create a frame it doesn't matter where we create it since it will have the position fixed so you can just create a div element just underneath the overlay and call it frame and inside of this frame I would create an image element and it shouldn't have any source and just create an empty uh, image element and then let's hide it let's say um, frame image or we can actually hide the whole frame because we don't need it the frame display none and we need to center this frame and I will also add background color of white and so what I'm also going to do is um, I'm gonna center it so first I have to add a width of I'll just say 500 pixels and the height of 400 pixels and I have to center it and how do I do that I can use this margin left property and set it negative to the half of the width minus 250 pixels this is how we can center it and now let's test it and see how it's gonna look like yeah but we forgot to set position fixed of course position fixed and now we, we we see this frame somewhere here on the left side but and I think I did a mistake by using this margin left and uh, it's margin left yeah I forgot something very important uh, you need to set its left to 50 percent and then it's going to be centered so now the frame is centered but I don't like that the frame is too small so let's make it bigger I'll just say 700 pixels to 500 pixels yeah and of course adjust the margin left to 350 pixels and now we are going to have a frame right here this white frame and the rest of the page will be um, will be dark because of the overlay and let's just see how it's gonna look like so we'll basically uh, see uh, 
the rest of the page is dark and right in the center is going to be a frame with an image and I'm afraid we are not going to make it in this tutorial so uh, in the next tutorial we are going to add this feature so that when we click on this on the thumb on the thumbnail the rest of the page gets dark uh, through this overlay and this frame sh will appear and it's uh, and we'll also have an image here which just display the contents of the thumb or the thumb thumbnail image all right guys uh, i hope you kind of learn this stuff and you now you know what overlay is and how you uh, create uh, this effect so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next tutorial